going off this diagram, you can kind of start to figure it out. You just kind of have to look at it real closely, look at the numbers, and then go back to your descriptions, and figure out which ones are which. got the rotisserie all built ready to go wasn't too bad went together pretty easy and now i need to see if i can get it connected to the car every car is different and these are the standard arms that it comes with you can get like an adapter kit i didn't get one i'm just going to try to make some adapters i'm going to attach to the bumper bracket Just extending out the bumper bracket gives us a little more room to work in here. Put a couple holes here, put a couple holes here. Do the same thing on this side. Get them in there, get them bolted up, and hopefully that'll work. These are going to come out of the bumper support and we're going to bolt them onto here.
put this on there. That's gonna be hard to slide from the side. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to see how it fit on here. <laughs> but uh, let's take this back off. Looking good. It gives us a little extra room here. It's thick, solid. It's gonna bolt up to that thing really good. See if we can get this thing on here. Check it out. Ah, yeah, that looks awesome. I can't wait to do the back and get this thing lifted up and see how it turns. Oh man, it's gonna be so cool. Hopefully those bumper brackets are sturdy enough. They feel really good. Um, I think they'll be fine. This car is super light, guys, especially with everything taken out of it. So you saw me pick it up, it was pretty easy. Um, yeah, there's not much to these cars really. Of course, the weight of the steel is pretty lightweight. So the only issue back here is we've only got one, unfortunately. But I'm thinking that might that one might be enough. But uh, if not, we'll uh, rig up some other bracket for it somehow. All right, guys. So there it is. There's the front part anyway. I gotta get the rear on, but it's gonna be set up the same way, uh, except we're gonna have to figure out the other bracket because that one's missing. holes here for the bracket, drilled the holes in the bracket, and let's go ahead and bolt it on. That way we can see where it's going to line up inside, and then we can make some marks for the welds. We might have to take this back off a couple times to get it prepared for the weld. All right, it's looking looking like it might work. I lifted up on this a little bit more to get this bar off the uh, body here. It's clear now. I'm not sure how this is all gonna work when we start trying to put that metal in. Hopefully we can work around this. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. So my plan is to extend this. I couldn't find a piece long enough to meet up to this. So I'm gonna extend it here. I'm gonna weld it there, weld it on the back side, and we're gonna weld it to that bracket. We'll bolt that bracket there. So let's get this cleaned up for welds. Thank you. 
have this and this. And hopefully we're gonna be good. Need to get a couple clamps on here. We'll hit a bead here and a bead under here and a bead here and a bead on the back side and maybe a little bit on the top here. We'll see how it does. I only have 24 gauge wire, um, but I think it'll work. Let's give it a shot. welds are a little rough but maybe it'll hold let's see let's see what happens Put some bolts in there just in case. <laughs> uh, but it looks like uh, it looks like it's working. All right, guys, it's officially on the rotisserie. It is officially on the rotisserie. Now, will these welds hold? I'm not sure. So I think what I'm going to do, just in case, I'm going to drill a hole here and put a bolt. And I'm going to drill a hole in the center where this clamp is and put a bolt. I mean, the welds are holding, but I just want a little extra security here, so. All right, I found the bolt that will fit. Yeah. All right. Feel much better about that. Uh, I mean, the welds are holding. 
and it'll probably be fine but that's just a little extra safety net there so let's see if we can get this thing to spin all right it is on the rotisserie and under normal circumstances it would have gone together a lot quicker but because that bumper bracket was uh the metal was rusted out we had to make a custom one to go all the way to the body mount now it's it's on the rotisserie let's see if we can raise it and turn it that's going to be the key right here i guess the first thing we could do is just kind of move it around a little bit see how it reacts make sure that thing doesn't pop or snap or something let's check it out i'm gonna make sure all the bolts are tight too i'm gonna make sure all these are tight so these don't slide off when we're turning it oh yeah these are loose they were loose and i was tapping with the hammer just find just trying to find that sweet spot right here where it wasn't touching the body All right, I'll check the front. Front is good. The front went together real easy. All right, I need to put the bar underneath. It goes and holds them all together. Holds the two together. Get under there, so I'm gonna see if I can lift it up, turn it at an angle so it'd be a little easier to get under there. All right, I'm gonna pump the rear up a little bit. Now I can get under there a little bit easier. All right, there it is. Check it out. The Gia is floating in the air. That's a pretty long stretch. It's about as stretched out as it can be, I think. Let's see if we can get this thing to turn. Moment of truth. stays pretty it's not moving let's see how hard it is to turn it there it goes wow okay so Some kind of grips on the ends of these. Maybe like some uh, bicycle grips or motorcycle grips. So it doesn't, a little easier to handle and doesn't slide out. This is just gonna slide right out. But I guess you can put it here. Wow, there it 
is. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So this side is not locked yet. But it should be able to, we should be able to line up that hole by, by using this. And then you push this in. There we go. And now it's locked. This is the lock pin here. Um, probably be a little easier with two people, but I just did it by myself. So that's pretty cool. Look at that angle. It makes things a lot easier to access, you know, when you're working on stuff under here. And when you're working on stuff under here, it really lets you see everything better. And this, this is still, it can still go higher. So you can raise it up all this right here. So another, it'll go up another two, three feet, I think. And then that'll allow you to turn it so it'll clear that bar at the bottom, turn it completely sideways. Hmm. Maybe we should try that. All right, let's see how hard it is to move or how easy it is. car is really light but it says it holds up to three or four thousand pounds have to check the specs these are rated for eight ton so it's pretty good it's a pretty good amount <laughs> very cool let's see if we can get it go sideways I want to have it completely sideways. I think we need to go up a little bit. I'm going to make this handle better. This handle's not good. I mean, it's on there good. It's just not. It's a weird. All right, let's see if we can flip it. Keep turning it around. See what happens. Wow. You clear it. Yeah. 
That's so cool. Wow, that is awesome. Man. I can't believe how easy that was to turn it. That is so cool. I can really like work in this area and get the best angles on it. Adjust the height, we can take it down. We should be able to turn this a little bit more and then bring it down. We can bring it down a couple feet so that you know this is a, a better working height. You can also rotate it all the way around, upside down probably. Yeah, it really lets you see all this stuff up in here. It lets you get to it really easy. Like I'm standing up right now, so this is like, hey, look at this. All this stuff that has to be fixed. Wow. I didn't even see this stuff before. Look at that. Wow, I didn't even know that was like that. Dang. Yeah, that's gonna have to be fixed. Maybe I shouldn't have turned it over. <laughs> uh, this showed me more issues. Oh, well. It's part of the challenge, I guess. Isn't that cool? That is really cool. So you should be able to completely turn it. All the way around, upside down, any angle you want and adjust the height. Obviously when it's on its side, you can only take it down so far, but um, it'll definitely come down a couple more feet from there on its side. Man, that is so cool. And it's easy to move. Those wheels are awesome. Well, I guess uh, I guess we got some more sandblasting to do, it looks like. Or just wire wheel the heck out of it. Yeah, it really gives you access to all this stuff here. Let's just see what's going on. This was really the main reason here is so I could get access to this and see what's happening here, but. Isn't that cool? All right, let's see if we can flip it upside down. Let's flip it upside down.
That's awesome. It's working. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a cool angle to be able to work. I drop it down a little bit lower. You know, turn on its side. Like, especially like in this area, you want to work in this area. You could drop it down lower. You don't want to drop it too low, you crush the hood, but the, the roof. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you've got about two or three feet there you can drop. Drop about two or three feet from right here. <laughs> I think we'll get some use out of it. Pretty cool. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one. All right, I need to get this thing back in the shop. All right, there it is. Ready. It's ready for some work. I guess I can't mess around anymore. I gotta get to work. <laughs> oh man, there's so much. There's a lot to do. There's a lot to do. It's a little overwhelming when you start thinking about it all. But I'm gonna try to stay focused best I can and maybe tackle some of the easier stuff first and just try to get a little bit done at a time and hopefully you know over the next few months we'll get this thing looking pretty good and we'll learn some stuff along the way it's not going to be perfect this is my first time doing something like this so i'm going to make mistakes it's not going to be perfect that's okay i'm just going to try to get it the best i can and try to learn stuff along the way and hopefully it'll turn out halfway decent. I think the most important thing is to just have fun and challenge yourself, learn something. And, you know, I can take all that knowledge to the next project and just keep, hopefully keep getting better and better and um, moving forward. So, all right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. See ya.